the teen years are the most influential years of a person's life. This is a time when teens are influenced the most by others around them. Ages from 12 to 18 are the years when independent thinking and choice starts to evolve. Teenagers look to those who share interests and activities that they do as well. With social media, there are so many choices. We are bombarded by role models and influencers daily. What are some trends that teenagers look for in a role model? And are teens looking to the same values that our parents do? I'll be focusing on what makes a role model, how role models have changed over time because of the influence of social media, and are social media influencers good role models, or are we teenagers being led astray? Social media has developed into the main source of information for a huge percentage of the world. What the source is saying is that basically most people in the world won't want to pick up a newspaper or turn on the television to watch the news. Instead, they'd rather look on their phones and look on apps such as TikTok or Instagram and read about it there. For example, if there was a jewelry store robbery, people won't wait to, for the newspaper to come up for them to read it or wait till 9pm to go onto the news channel and um, watch it. People would rather go on their phones and read about it or post about it. You see, as fun and cool as social media is, it's also very dangerous. People tend to use social media as a main source of information and they also put their hobbies and opinions out there, therefore becoming a role model to many. But not every person wants to be a respectful role model. No, there are bad people out there who people still look up to, but it doesn't mean that these things are respectful, good-hearted, and done with good intentions. Although there is a possibility that your child will choose a bad role model, there has been research done, and that is, studies have shown a decrease in risky behaviors when having a positive mentor. So while there is a chance that your child takes on a negative role model, there's a higher chance that your child will take on a positive one, and the outcome is exceptionally positive. Role models are an essential part of life. They can teach us characteristics, morals, and even how to dress. Anyone can be a role model at any time, as long as they have these key elements. Confidence. You have to be a very confident person in order to put yourself out there. This means that stating your opinions publicly is not a problem for you, because you don't care what others think about you. Passion. You have to have a lot of passion in what you are doing in order to put it out there. This means you are trying to show your hobbies or what you are doing um, to try and persuade people to do the same. Then you have to be passionate about it because people can tell when you are doing something for your fame whereas if you are doing it because you genuinely enjoy doing it. And because you are passionate about doing it, people will follow you and try to be the same. Of course, when putting your opinions out there, Depending how different it is from the rest, people aren't going to agree with you right from the start. And so persistence is key, because if you just give up from the start, nobody's going to pay attention to you and you're just going to end up from where you started. But if you keep going and stay consistent, over time, people will start taking note of you and slowly you will start getting the reach that you wanted, thus needing to become a role model. Our first role models as children are role models in our everyday life, such as parents, siblings, and even any family members. Children look up to a variety of role models to help shape how they behave in school, how they can handle relationships, and when making decisions. As we get older into our teenage years, we tend to look at friends, TV personnel, and influencers, the people that don't always want the best for us. How have role models changed over the years? Back in the day, role models were all about being respectful and doing good things, such as priests, rabbis, and imams. That is where religion comes into play, because back then, religion was a big part of society, and it was a big part of everyone's lives. 
But now, everywhere we go, religion isn't a big part of people's lives, and it is not as practiced as it used to be. Role models just a few years ago were also about being influential and motivational, such as Steve Jobs. Steve had a huge impact on the technological world, and therefore many people looked up to him and his dedication to his work. Let's compare Steve Jobs and Kim Kardashian. Both are role models, but Steve Jobs was influential in the sense that he was a smart, a well-educated person, and he created one of the biggest and most high and most valued companies in the world. He was all, all about encouraging people to try their best and to persist and accomplish their dreams. Whereas the Kardashian, specifically Kim Kardashian, talks all about living a luxury life and spending money that most people don't even have. And she also talks about having the nicest clothes and focuses on, on what appear, um, about appearances, what's on the outside, and she doesn't talk about what's on the inside. And although many people still look up to her as a role model, this is not a good influence in my opinion. Role models aren't always happy and excited to influence. No, there are some role models out there who do it just for the money. As in, they fake their whole personality and that people actually follow just for the fame and money. Although this sounds bad, it isn't as bad as you think. You see, role models are good for one reason and one reason only, and that is the effect that they have on people. So even if they are just faking their whole personality, it is how the audience and people take it and change. Because they don't know if their role model is fake or not. So even though the role model might be fake, the effect that they have on people is not. To conclude, positive role models influence our actions and motivate us to try, to, for, to try for the standards that they have set. Young people face all kinds of challenges, and seeing their heroes face their own and bounce back from it can be inspiring and motivating. They can teach us to achieve our goals despite the obstacles in our way.